criticism, Dr. Swansea, but my condition defies scientific categorization. Undead? Unalive? Immortality defies logic. I cannot express my thrill at this serendipitous turn of events. The world's most eminent specialist in blood transfusions, a vampire. One might say a gift from heaven. It may seem strange, but your words have brought me some comfort here. Forgive me. I've been an admirer of your work for a long time, and now you are so much more than a brilliant physician. And please, call me Edgar. There is no need to apologize, Edgar. You offered me sanctuary when I had none. Very well. I have a task for you, Jonathan. Something that will require all your newfound skills. Please, go on. The Pembroke only survives through the generosity of our benefactors. Unfortunately, our main donor has found herself in a bit of a bind. Now, if you could help her out... A spokesman or politician is what you need. That's not my calling. And until I come to understand what has happened to me, I require discretion. Discretion is in order, Jonathan. Lady Ashbury has recently received rather indelicate correspondence that, if revealed, would jeopardize her position. And you would like me to eradicate this threat? By the stole, of course not. I would just like you to pay her a visit. Her ladyship is certainly near the tents outside, tending the sick. You can't miss her. Look for someone impossibly delicate. Accepted. I'll see what kind of trouble Lady Ashbury is in. Sorry about the weird cut there. I, uh, forgot to check the time again, because, you know, PS4 can only record for up to an hour. So that was my bad. Try to keep a better hold on time. took my dear wife, Emily. I take comfort knowing we'll soon be together again. <coughs> Mr. Rainfield, that's no way to talk. You're in good hands here, and we'll be up again soon enough. <coughs> now do me a kindness and get some sleep. I'll be back round later. Your words are kind, the blessings of an angel. You're the sweet, sweet lady of mercy. Oh, shit. Good evening, Dr. Reed. It's a pleasure to see you again. You seem surprised. Dr. Swansea has brought me up to speed concerning your recent appointment to Pembroke Hospital. You're a vamp. The lady who saved me that night, before vanishing into thin air. I remember you from the pub with Dr. Swansea. Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself formally this time. My name is Lady Ashbury. I remember you well, in spite of the brevity of our encounter. So it seems our Dr. Swansea does indeed have a fascination for creatures of our constitution. Dr. Swansea is a remarkable man. Dedicated, one might say, obstinate? He spent years compiling our bestiary. I hope you're more disposed to answer my questions now. You must have countless questions, but our rather urgent matter first. Swansea has explained. My cover, if you prefer, has been compromised. Dr. Swansea has commissioned me to be your agent in this matter. You could start by explaining what's amiss. These past insufferable weeks, I've been the victim of extortion. 
I've made a first payment, but the blackmailer grows greedy. I must refuse his most recent demands. Who would be so foolish as to threaten you? A kindred spirit. Even if it were the case, and I highly doubt it, a vampire would have asked for something more valuable than money. My suspicions lean toward a patient or their family. What are your expectations? Please be precise. As the newly appointed surgeon of this hospital, you are in an excellent position to ask innocent questions and deftly learn the identity of my blackmailer. Please continue. Every detail is essential. I'm your man. My embarrassment in this matter is eclipsed only by my shame at having put the hospital at risk. The threat from our anonymous scoundrel is clear. A list of dates. My visits coinciding with the dates of suspicious patient deaths due to massive blood loss. I'll take care of it. Do you know where I should start? If that was the case, I'd settle the matter myself. You could talk to our local gossip, Harriet Jones. Not a pin drops here without her hearing about it. I'll meet that woman now. My life, as others know, is in your hands, Dr. Reed. I'm sure of your discretion, but I do fear your powers of persuasion will be put to the test. When this is resolved, I'll be your obligé. I'll answer all questions in regards of your condition. Alright, this is going to be a long episode. Because I already recorded for an hour. Another night with the police. Oh no, it's on the other side. Inside. Yeah, I already recorded for an hour, and then after editing, it usually cuts down to half an hour to 40 minutes. Simple this one's probably going to be like an hour, with no hour respect. video. What? What? What is this? Who are you? Get out of my room. There's no need for alarm, madam. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon. Preposterous. Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. Where's Dr. Swansea? Please, calm down, madam. I assure you that I am highly qualified. I'm just back from war duty. Ha! <laughs> how brave! Threatening an old, defenseless woman. You know how long I've been a patient here. You've picked the wrong fight. I'm Harriet Jones. Harriet Jones? Indeed. I've been meaning to have a chat with you. You know what goes on here better than any other patient, I gather. Better than any patient, nurse or doctor. I've seen so many vile undertakings. I heard there have been some despicable goings on. Was there a case of blackmail? Blackmail? I... Wait. You're investigating something. This isn't a social call. One of those incompetent cunts in a poor sod's vein. Oh... If I didn't know better, Miss Jones, I'd be inclined to say you enjoy this type of idle gossip. God's honest truth, Doctor. It's just the way it is here. Most of these bitches would let you freeze to death before getting you a blanket. You seem to know more about the goings-on here than anyone else. Beware, Miss Jones, in case suspicion should fall on you. That's it. Blame the old and infirm. I oh see God. those little bitches, greedy little eyes, just waiting for me to pop off, they are. I assure you, madam, this is not an investigation into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? Nurses Crane, Hawkins, Brannigan's, whores, all of them. They can't keep their legs shut. I've seen them scratching slutty sores. Really? Well, if you have irrefutable proof, I'll not have the staff behaving in such a manner here. This is your business, Doctor, not mine. But I 
swear one of the nurses is cavorting with some man on hospital hours. Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. You've given me something to go on. See you on the next round. Alright. The patients and staff might know something. I'll start my investigation with them. Maybe I could eat her. Davy Rooty. Good evening, nurse. Good evening, doctor. I don't think we've been introduced yet. My name is Pippa Hawkins. And I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Dr. Swansea has recently offered me a position in this hospital. Well, it's a euphemism that your help will be appreciated, Doctor. How is the Pembroke staff coping with the epidemic? Well, not well. Milton, the ambulance driver, is even more grumpy than usual. Especially concerning doctors. Hmm. Why is Milton grumpy on a daily basis? Is it just an act? Milton's not the kind of man who's bothered about a bad reputation, whether he deserved it or not. Why does Milton dislike doctors? Well, I don't know. Just ask him. But be warned. Milton is not the chatty type. How long have you been a nurse? Well, long enough to see that the epidemic is winning. And no matter how qualified you are, don't tell me you'll change that. You're right. When dealing with such a terrible disease, one must remain humble. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't try our best. <laughs> Sorry, Doctor. I don't want to sound bitter, but I'm just too tired to give a pep talk like Nurse Brannigan. How would you describe the situation at the Pembroke Hospital? It's serious. The flu is wreaking havoc amongst the staff and patients. We are running out of everything. Nurse Hawkins, the Spanish flu won't last forever. Even the Black Plague didn't kill everyone. I wish I could believe you. But what if this epidemic was worse? What if in the end, nobody was spared? What can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. She's full of fanciful tales. She could have been telling the truth about the mysterious man. That old witch will end up in hell soon enough. Who cares if a nurse finds some happiness where she can? No matter how you feel about her, Miss Jones deserves our help. Who says I don't care for her? Hate is what keeps that old crone alive. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Dorothy Crane. Good evening, Nurse. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, the new surgeon here at the Pembroke. Dr. Swansea has already told us about you, sir. I'm Nurse Gwyneth Brannigan. Welcome to the Pembroke Hospital. Did he really? It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion technique. Dr. Swansea made sure of that. I see. Well, I'm a little surprised, but I suppose I'll just have to deal with this unexpected notoriety. You must know, blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. Do you know if any of the hospital staff have criminal backgrounds? The people who work here all come from very different backgrounds, Doctor. Just like the patients. That was very unhelpful. 
I'm not familiar with all the staff yet. Perhaps you could help me. Brilliant professionals, most of them. Dr. Swansea has a gift for recruiting talent. Most of them? Is there a problem? I should know about this. It would be inappropriate for me to speak ill of a colleague. Is there anyone that stands out? Well, I have never met someone as dedicated as Dr. Tippett's. He should be a standard for us all here. If only he were younger. Why should his age be a problem? I guess it's fair to say he's always pushing himself to the limits. He just doesn't know when to stop and get some rest. How are things here? Not good, to say the least. We're struggling against an invisible enemy, more lethal than any bullet from a gun. It's hard, Doctor. Do you think this hospital can survive the epidemic? We are all volunteers here, and we're trying to hold fast, but... How do we beat an invisible killer? Some nurses have already resigned. An invisible enemy. Quite a poetic term for a disease, especially from a nurse. Sorry, Doctor. These last few weeks have been exhausting. We could all do with a good night's sleep. Hmm. Have you seen a strange man visiting any of the nurses here? I've never heard of such a thing, Doctor. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Well, last one is Dorothy. Oh, she's over here by the boat. You're sure you don't come back with me? Nah, I have to see someone at the hospital. Be careful. You look so bad they may keep you as a patient. Fuck them. I don't like hospitals. Or doctors. Well then, when you go back to Whitechapel, you may find this useful. What is it? A pass for a free medical exam by the best nurse available. Just read it. I don't read well, but thank you, I guess. locked the door behind him. I need to find another way to follow him. I don't like the sound of that. This man has been savagely attacked and dragged to the floor. Skulls here. One's level eight, so I'm not gonna. I'm gonna try not to fuck with them.
I can't go this way. Delicious. Oh, shit. What sort of a creature is this? Son of a fucking bitch. Fucker. Here's what's left of him. Some voucher for a free checkup in Whitechapel. What is Nurse Crane up to? I really must find her. Oops. Oh shit. Where the hell did I go? Oh. Deep shit. Damn it. 
Are you injured, sir? Help me get out of here! I need to get out! I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd be glad to help you, but you must calm down first. Please, take a deep breath and tell me your name. Okay. Okay, I I'm Oswald Thatcher. Please, I need to get out! All right, Mr. Thatcher, you're safe now. Do you think you can reach the street by yourself? Yes. Yes, I do. Good. Now leave this place and enjoy the cool night air. It's quite invigorating. I'm sure you'll feel better if you do. Really? Nothing? Alright. More stuff. Sorry for the weird cut, I had a phone call. Anyways, let's finish up this video. Chapel. I feel like I should go heal, not heal, but uh, upgrade my stuff first. That last boss battle was a pain in the ass. strong. It's locked, all right. Always good to double check. Oh, no hideout. So stronger. Still no key though. Well, 
I think this is where I'm gonna end the, this video. I'm gonna get into bed and increase my stuff, and uh, I'll get another video out real soon. I also have uh, God of War coming out, and uh, my flash drive should be in tomorrow, so I'll probably have Assassin's Creed out by tomorrow or the next day. So thank you for watching, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Peace out.